Radio. Why do people stay flexing? Why? Why? Why do people stay checking? Why? Why? Why my name in your mouth? Why? Why? Why when you speak it's a lie? Why? Why when I come through you a lie? Why? I be in the motherfucking sky. Why? Loud, so strong, pop eye. Why? Yo, bitch, will give me eye. Why? Talk wrong, you will get choked. Why? I be on some healthy shit. Hope. Why? I be watching shit like a hoe. Why? I could disappear in a sec. Why? Wow, yo, bitch, give it neck. Why? Why do people stay flexing? Why? Why? Why do people stay checking? Why? Why? Why my name in your mouth? Why? Why? Why when you speak, it's a lie? Why? Why do people stay flexing? Why? Three, two, one. and they show you a glimpse of that in the movie Bright. These dark entities, these insectilians, these reptilians, whatever you want to call them, they uh, they have their hands in everything. If you didn't know that already, so phase three, this is for the plot thickens because, like I said, we're on multiple timelines because humans are multidimensional entities. Our pineal gland that's in here, or our penile gland, whatever you want to call it, third eye, first eye, whatever. The pineal gland is the first gland that is created when you're born. It starts off as a black bat. When you start off as a black bat, you know? And, um,. You know, the, name, the uh, human is formed in a womb or whatever, but the pineal gland is the stargate. It is the spiritual gateway to other dimensions. And uh, don't get it twisted. Other dimensions exist right here on Earth. So what the fuck does that mean? So... So basically what that means is you got different dimensions stacked on top of Earth right now. So let's say you're on a low vibration, right? We're on the same page, right? Let's say you're on a low vibration. You walk down the street. 
it's different levels to this shit, right? So you got a low level of vibration, as in your vibration low, but it's not too low where you could do a couple of good things and it could go, it could, it could raise, it could raise up. And then you like in a neutral area. But then the lower you go, as in the, uh, just the things that you do on an everyday basis, expe especially the thing that really lowers your karma. I mean, not your karma, the thing that really lowers your consciousness the most. I mean, not your consciousness. Your vibration, things that really lower your vibration the most is being unconscious, being unaware, being unaware will lower your vibration and fear, fear and being unaware. Those are the two biggest things that will lower your vibration down to the ultimate level of low, right? So the lower you go in vibration, the worse things happen to you. So, for example, you walk down the street, you're on a low vibration, and you see a group of dudes that's standing outside, you know, smoking or whatever, and you walk down the street, and like I said, you're on a low vibration. Since you're on a low vibration, your experience will be different walking past them dudes than it would be if you was on a high vibration. So, you walk past them dudes on a low vibration, you ain't even gotta say nothing. They gonna say something to you. They gonna fuck with you. Hey, you got a light up? Hey, fuck, you got a light up? Ooh, or whatever. Yeah, they might get on bullshit with you. You know what I'm saying? Just because you're on a low vibration. And you don't even know why. you like, what the fuck? You know what I'm saying? To give you a simple example so you can understand what I'm saying. So then let's say you're on a high vibration. Which, high vibration or a lower vibration, it puts you on a certain dimension that's right here on Earth. That's my whole point. So, if you're on a high vibration and you're walking down the street, you walk past them dudes, you walk past them on a high vibration, it might be a couple of dudes from your school, from your job, it might be somebody you know. <coughs> Something like that, right? And um, that person would be like, oh, hey, what's up? Man? How you doing? You know, everything would be good because you're on a high vibration. So when you're on a high vibration, that puts you in a certain type of mind state. And that mind state puts you on a certain type of frequency. And that frequency places you in a certain type of dimension while you're here on Earth. Because you have nine underworlds, which we're currently going through. And you have 13 heavens. As in dimensions stacked right on top of each other, right on Earth. Our pineal gland is the gateway to different dimensions. And cannabis is um what they say. Oh, it's a gateway drug. It'll make you do other drugs and all that. No, they give you hints in the words. It's a gateway drug. This is the key to the gateway, which is a multi-dimensional, which is the multi-dimensional stargate that's right here in your brain. So, these beings keep the masses of people on a low vibration, and they use fear and unconsciousness. They leave people unaware and fearful. Why? Because they feed and they thrive off of fear energy, and they thrive off unconscious. When humans were supposed to be, we're supposed to be dumbed down, and we're supposed to just be like a slave race. And I'm not talking about just so-called black people, I'm not talking about so-called white people and all this type of shit. It's about as in a whole, in a whole milk pot, humans were created by the Anunnaki, Anunnaki being the those who came from above, down below, and um, our progenitors created us and stuff like that. This stuff is an ancient tablets, whatever the case may be. And um, we're supposed to just be a dumb slave race of people, but Anunnaki kept saying we kept getting more and more intelligent, so they lowered our lifespan down from thousands of years to just 120 years. <laughs> so, if they can keep people on a low vibration and unaware, then that's the ultimate energy for them, and they can continuously do the things they do. So, phase three, that's why I said the plot thickens, because... 
so many people still unaware yeah it is a mass awakening it is the great awakening to happen yes that's true but you still have a lot of people unfortunately that will be at the end of the platoon so to speak and they just won't get it you know until it's too late or they just still won't get it or they just don't want to admit it or whatever so they're going to open back up a lot of these different countries but especially America that's the whole controversy they're going to open it up stuff like that but there's going to be other countries as well that's going to open back up and the thing is that's how they're going to get people because everybody's going to think everything is all cool like it wasn't just a pandemic so to speak and it wasn't just a virus going around and it is a real virus because it is a patent on it so you can go look that up it is a patent on this shit so it is real and it does exist so it's like you know you got people that always be a people face and shit and those are the people you know that's kind of like that's gonna fall into the trap because everything that they want everybody to be focusing on some other shit while the real shit is going on which meaning they trying to kill one million animals chickens cows and pigs they're trying to call these animals and um, they're trying to do a lot of these other things, you know, while we're not looking because people are not paying attention. People are not paying attention. And that's unconsciousness, which is the lowest people vibration on a massive scale, which we clearly see it's doing. And those people are going to go back out there. And like I said, I ain't saying it's bad to go back out there. If you're aware, that's the whole point. If you're aware of what the fuck is going on and you get the message, you're in a high vibration, you get what I'm saying. You understand what I'm saying. But if you're in a low vibration, you're trying to understand what I'm saying. Don't be one of them dumb motherfuckers going out there just thinking everything cool and all that. If you go back out there, that's cool. Take the proper, I mean, take the necessary steps. Take the proper necessary steps that you need to take to prepare yourself. That's all I'm saying. So... You have to be aware of it because most people are going to fall right into the trap. Then they're going to say, oh, it's a kind of outbreak. And then boom. You know what I'm saying? So many people will just fall into the trap. And then phase four would probably be either forced vaccinations or motherfuckers just so scared, aka unaware, and they just go get the RFID chip. And go watch this movie called NWO. It came out in 2012. If I'm not mistaken, NWO, and it shows you it got these dudes. They got this big ass marketed beast on their forehead, and then they got this big ass marketed beast on their hand. And the movie is fucking crazy, man. Go check that shit out, man. It's deep. I don't know if it's on YouTube or not, but um, I think I seen it on Netflix some years back. But you could just go type it in, like in Google, and you could more than likely find that shit for free or whatever the case may be. Or you can rent it if it's on YouTube. I haven't checked to see if it's on YouTube. You know, but I'm just saying the easiest way for you to check out the movie, you know, I'm just saying check it out. But this shit is deep and they're telling you exactly what the fuck going on. So, phase three is just the whole plot thickens because most people, not all, but most people are unaware and they're still fearful and they're just going to fall back into the trap. Oh, this shit going on while rights... While our rights is being taken away. Why they saying, hey, you can't buy no more seeds. Hey, you can't garden anymore. Like just crazy stuff. And people are just, oh, oh, they just fall for this stuff. And, you know, these entities that don't have power anymore. Continuously thinking they have power. Well, continuously making people think that they have power. Excuse me, because they live off of fear tactics and unawareness tactics. So, so many people are just going to go back out there hugging on people, just kissing on people. I'm talking about just random people. You know how people just be kissing people randomly and all type of shit. You know, drinking off of people and all type of shit, you know. They're going to fall back to the trap. Then, boom, oh, we got to go out. You know what I'm saying? So, I don't know. Just something to think about. Wait the damn up. More videos coming soon. You know. All right. Uh,